Hello everyone, my name is Liani Powers and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make an herbal infusion. Step one, choose a good high quality tea. I always suggest using something organic, ethically wildcrafted, something that's not sprayed. You wanna make sure that it is coming from a good source. So it's good for you and good for the environment. Today we're gonna to be using our Coco Loco tea because it's yummy. Always make sure that your tea is nice and fresh. It should have a nice strong smell if it's an aromatic and it should also have good color. This looks pretty good. Now for step two, it's gonna be your ratio. How much tea are you gonna to put to how much water? I always recommend using one tablespoon of tea to eight ounces of water. Today we're gonna to be making a quart, so we're gonna be using four tablespoons. Step three. Scarify. I know this is a word many of you have not heard, but it just means to break down the cell walls of the plant so the chemical constituents can be extracted out easier into the water. You break it down literally by just grinding it up with your fingers or by using a grinder. Today we're gonna to use a grinder. Scoop it out. And grind it up. Okay, step four, it's time to steep. Here you got some options. You've got options on steep time as well as options on what you're going to steep your herbs in. You can either place your tea directly into your vessel and strain it lighter, or you can bag it up. You can use either a paper tea bag, a muslin or cheesecloth reusable tea bag, or you can place it into a strainer or an infuser, like one of these. We have these at the shop as well. You can also do an infuser mug. This is one of my favorites because it's pretty and it makes you feel pretty when you drink out of it. Or if you're making a large amount of tea, I love a French press for this. This is one that we carry at the shop. This is my favorite one at the shop. It also has a thermos and it keeps your tea nice and warm almost, almost all day. All right, so those are your options. But if you don't have any of those, or if you're feeling kind of lazy, just put it directly into your jar or mug and boil some hot water. All right, now that your water is boiled, it's time to add it to your herbs. And because we scarified it, it's gonna make it easier for all of those chemical components and volatile oils to be extracted out into the menstruum, which is our hot water. All right, now as soon as you've poured your hot water in, you wanna go ahead and close it so you can trap any of those volatile oils that have been released. Now when it comes to steep time, you have options again, and it's gonna depend on your personal taste. If you want it to be stronger, you're gonna let it steep longer, and that makes the blend even stronger in medicinal impact as well. And it's also gonna depend on the herbs that were inside of your blend. Some herbs like hops can turn bitter after they've been in hot water for about 12 minutes. If you can handle the taste and you want the medicinal impact, you can let it go as long as you like. Okay, so now our tea has been steeping for about 15 minutes. It doesn't even have to last that long. You can do this super flavorful tea for about five to seven minutes, but I like a good strong brew. It's my personal taste. However, you have to remember that it is very, very hot. Some of the advantages of the infusers that I was speaking of earlier, if it was just bobbing in your cup, you would just be able to take this out. If you have made your cup of tea in the Blake mug, you could just remove it. Or my fave, the French press. When you press down, all of the herbs stay inside of there underneath the mesh, and you would just be able to pour out. But if you don't have any of those things, I'm sure almost everyone has a regular old strainer. We're gonna place it over the top of the mason jar that you're pouring into or your mug. I'm using an oven glove. Now this tea smells so good. As soon as you take the lid off, you're gonna start getting hit in the face with all those really yummy aromatics. Okay, so now you're on to step five, which is just enjoy your tea. I like to sweeten my tea. You can add a little bit of honey, agave, or stevia. It's all up to you, but this one is delicious. It has a little bit of the guayasa, it has lemon balm, it has lemongrass, so it has a little bit of like upliftment, but it doesn't give you the crash that coffee gives you. This one just kind of just brings you up and kind of plateaus you energy-wise and keeps you there, which I'm looking forward to for the rest of the day. I'm also looking forward to a few more cups. 
Enjoy. <laughs>